Okay, real quick tutorial on how to set up this key overlay to have a transparent background. So this is a key overlay designed for OSU. It was made by someone named Blandaz. Very cool program. So not only does it track your key inputs, but it has this little visual that you know visualizes <laughs> your key inputs. I think it's really cool. So let me show you guys. So go over to OBS. So okay, well, first of all, you download the program. And um, let me open it. So you download the program, it looks like this, but right, it has this black um, box. I will mention now, make sure you don't minimize the program or else it will not activate correctly on OBS. So uh, yeah, leave it unminimized. And then here you want to add a window capture and then just select the name of the program, which I already have set up here. But let me activate it. And yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it is black. It's got a black background. So to fix that, go to filters uh, or you can just right click it and then yeah, click filters towards the bottom. And you add a color key, not chroma key, uh, which is what I thought at first. But yeah, make a color key. And you want to key out the black color in the background. So set it to custom color. And then chop this all the way down to, oh, I can't grab it. What? <laughs> all the way down to black. Um, and now it's gone. But so if I tap my tapping keys, you can see it kind of fades out for a really long time. If you wanted to cut out sooner, which is how I have it, uh, you can mess with this similarity slider. Uh, personally, I have it set to 255. Um, that's just sort of the number that I chose. So or after messing with it, but now you see it cuts off a little sooner. I don't think it really matters, but uh, that is something you can experiment with. Um, but yeah, that is how to set that up. Hopefully that was helpful. Right, I will have this linked in the description as well, because um, I think it is a very, very cool tool that you can add to your streams. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.